Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Review stuff and I am back for another exciting review. It's a kitchen review today. Um, I have not filmed a video over here, I think since before I left for Miami. And I actually purchased a couple things in Miami to review while I was there, but I ended up eating them. <laughs> One of them was three candy bars. I don't even remember what, the, I can't even remember what the, the, the name, the title, <laughs> the title of the candy bar were. <laughs> Mr. Candy Bar, Mrs. Candy Bar. I can't remember what the title of the candy bar was. Uh, Dr. Candy Bar. Um, but they were very, very good. <laughs> one was coconut, one was dark chocolate, and I think one was caramel. They were really, really good. But they were something that I had never seen in Indianapolis before, so I was like, I'm going to get these. And um, I was going to review them, and then I was going to bring them back here and review them. And then, like, the second to the last night, I was like, I'm really craving a candy bar. So I, the review just did not happen. And then I bought some other things. I bought some nuts that I was going to review because I love a good nut, don't you? I do. I love it. Family friendly. I love a good nut. But no, like nuts. Like, you know, don't be dirty minded. God, you are not a Christian. You are dirty minded. Um, like, you know, cashews and pistachios and peanuts. I said peanuts. P-E-A, like, you know, Charlie Browns and the peanuts. That's, y'all are so dirty minded on a Friday. <laughs> y'all think of that song, Friday night, <laughs> just got, y'all think about getting on your, your outfit and going out and getting you some peanuts because you like a good nut. That's what y'all are, th you're dirty minded. G listen, you need to save it for church on Sunday. I'm just going to say that. Okay, so I actually, the other day, I did it, I showed this on my Peter Dustup channel, but my cousin and I went to Trader Joe's to buy those bags that, you know, because <laughs> I thought they might have one, you know, stuffed in the back somewhere. Did y'all hear about these bags? Okay, so I, they actually, I'm going to buy one. They're all over eBay. People were telling me they're like $450. I looked on eBay, they're like $20. Okay, I'm buying one for $20 because they make such a cute pool bag. So Trader Joe's has these canvas shopping bags. I actually bought the large one. And when I went to the counter, I said to the guy, I go, do you guys have any of the small ones left? So y'all know about those hot pink Stanley cups that like when like they were sold out like in two seconds flat at the target you know anyway so these trader joe's canvas bags they were real small okay because you know like you can go there and you can buy like a bag that you bring there to shop you know like you know so you don't have to use like plastic bags and paper bags and stuff like that right so i bought the big canvas one because we go to trader joe's and fresh time a lot my cousin caroline and i did my husband and i do too so i thought well now we've got a bunch of those bags and my husband always uses those bags every time not the canvas ones but i wanted the canvas one because i wanted really the small one but they only had the big one left so anyway i said the guy at the counter i was like do you guys have any more of those small canvas bags like they might have two in the corner, you know, that they were saving for Peter Mont. He was like, no, we sold out of them in five minutes. I go, seriously, this Trader Joe's in a strip mall in Indianapolis? He's like, oh yeah, we sold out of them real quick. He goes, I bought like five or six of them. I go, you bought five or six? He's telling me the whole story about it. But anyway, when I was at Trader Joe's, I bought these like, ghost pepper kettle chips and I bought these other like these rice cakes that are like so hot they burn your mouth and people love when I do stuff that it makes me I, I don't know why y'all like when I do reviews of like real gross sodies or uh, you remember I did all those sodies that tasted like poop and grass and things like that and yellow snow y'all love that <laughs> you guys like me to eat things that either cause me pain or are disgusting I don't know what that's about but trust me I'm gonna get on the Amazon tonight I'm gonna order a bunch of disgusting stuff just for y'all out there okay and then we'll do a bunch of reviews of disgusting stuff. But I was getting ready to uh, do a load of wash in our dishwasher in the kitchen. <laughs> That's where I guess you do it. Right? And, um... I was like going through there and I was doing what I do with the dishwasher, which is we use this, we get this from the Costco, the Cascade Platinum Plus, okay? And I was like putting everything in there. Oh, you know what? Did I... Oh, I, I did. I did. I was like, did I not put one of those in there? So anyway, um, a couple washes ago, I would say, let's see how many washes ago now. Well, it would have been three washes ago now. Um, I, the dishwasher that we have, we have a good dishwasher. It's not a super large dishwasher anyway because our kitchen's small and whatever, but we have a good dishwasher. It works really, really well. 
It doesn't have a lot, a lot of soap scum on it. We like wash it out once in a while. We're actually really good about like washing our dishes and our you know uh, utensils and things like that before we put them in the dishwasher, which is what you always want to do. Okay, listen, children at home, you don't want to put a dish with ketchup and honey and butter and everything. You don't want. You need to rinse it off. Okay, get you one of them scrub brushes and rinse it off in the sink. Okay, did your mama not teach you nothing? So anyway, you got to do that. You got to rinse off a sink or a dish before you put it in the dishwasher. But anyway, I think it was like three or four washes ago, I like unloaded the dishwasher and I would use these Tervis cups. And like every one of these Tervis cups had like this soap scum on it. And I was like, what is going on? Like it had never happened before. Well, I started to look and it was like on our forks and stuff too is a lot of the soap scum. So I ran a clean, you know, I cleaned the dishwasher, did a did a, a round of that or whatever, wash the dishes again, and it still didn't come off. And I was like, what is going on? So I went online and I was like, you know, soap scum and whatever, and it was kind of like talking about hard water and soft water. And I don't know about all that kind of stuff. And I know I'm probably going to get educated in the comment section today because I'm sure that there are some experts out there about... Uh, soap scum and hard water and soft water and stuff like that, but we've never really had a problem with it in the shower or in the dishwasher or anything like that. And so I got online and I was like, how do you get rid of, you know, soap scum in the dishwasher? And these things came up and they are called plank. Okay, here, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. I should actually just show it like this because I'm just going to talk about the plank. Okay, so I got online and it was like an ad for these different things, right? And so I go down, I go past the sponsored stuff like that, and I say, like, type in, I'm like, you know, look, like how to get rid of soap scum. And it was like this article, it's probably a sponsor article or whatever, but one of the things that came up were these plank things, okay? I know probably people are like, I've heard of this, but I was like, I'm gonna buy these and these are not gonna work, okay? And so what they are is it says washer and dishwasher, freshener and cleaner, okay? And so you can put this in your dishwasher, you can put it in your washing machine for your clothes and things like that. And it says on here, Plank washer and dishwasher freshener and cleaner delivers a fresh and clean boost to your appliance. Our innovative fragrance technology washes away foul odors, leaving your appliance in room with lasting freshness. Plank also removes buildup and odor causing residue from the hidden parts of your machine. Plank your appliance weekly um, as needed to keep from smelling fresh and performing like new. Okay? And I don't, these are like $4.99. You get like four of them in a package. I know the lighting out here is so bad today, but you get like four of them in a package. See? One, two, three, four. And you can see on this week, I got two packages of them. There's only one left. Okay? So we've used three of them. Well, I was like, I know these things aren't going to work. I was just like, I was guaranteed. I was like, I buy this shit and it don't work. It's like people all the time are like telling me to buy the magic erasers. Those magic erasers don't work. And I know when I say that, people are going to be like, oh my God. Yes, they do. No, those magic erasers, you have to rub them. You have to rub them so hard like any other sponge. It's basically just, I thought when you got that magic eraser thing, you'd just be like, ooh, like that, and things would go away. That is not how those magic erasers work, okay? When people are like, oh, if you use a magic eraser, it'll get anything off. Yeah, if you push hard enough, okay? So will a dirty towel from the bottom of your hamper. If you push hard enough, okay, with some water and vinegar, sure, it'll get anything off. A magic eraser, a magic eraser by definition should literally just glide and take things off. I can remember when I first got one, it was like, we'll remove any stain from the shower. And I was like, oh my God, our shower's gonna be spotless. I think I ended up buying like four of those magic erasers. Those magic erasers, I don't know who out there is getting them to work, but you obviously got magic that I don't have because they don't work for me. But what does work is these plank dishwasher. And I I haven't used them in the washing machine, but it says in here directions for use, read entire label before using, plank for your washing machine, place one tablet and empty drum, run washer or normal cycle using full load and hot water settings. Okay, so that's how you clean it out. A plank for your dishwasher. This is how, how we use it. Place one tablet in bottom of empty machine. Load dishwasher as normal. Plank will uh, neutralize odors as dirty dishes are loaded. When ready to run dishwashing cycle, fill main dispenser with regular detergent. Run dishwasher or normal cycle. Okay, so what I did was I unloaded the dishwasher. I didn't even follow the directions. I unloaded the dishwasher, put our little cascade thing in here. This is what we use. It, they're real pretty, okay? I think the people on TikTok are doing, they're doing dirty deeds with them because they're not Christians either. But they're, I, I, are those the pods? The, the, are these the pods they talk about? I don't know. I'm not a millennial. But I put one of those dishwasher things in there with all the dirty dishes and stuff. And then what you do is you take one of these plank things like this, right? These little plank things. And you put it in the very bottom, okay? Where the thing goes around like that. 
<laughs> you can see I'm so technological, right? But hey, how are you? But I'm telling you right now, no true story. These plank things work like nobody's business. They really do. They work like nobody's business. I could not believe it. Our dishes came out. Like, I put all those Turvis cups back in. The, the Turvis are the plastic cups, okay? That that you can wash them. You can be, put them in the dishwasher. Turvis says that and stuff like that. I actually just said this on my other video because somebody commented on my video that I talked about the Turvis cups. And they're like, ew, leaking, leaking plastic. No, 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 no. Turvis got rid of that BHP MSG stuff in 2011. They'll actually refund you your money if you bought a cut before 2011. And they don't use that anymore. So they don't have any plastic plastic. You can also put, put Turvis cups. So I have, I have one out here earlier. You can also put Turvis cups in the washing machine and the microwave. Okay. So they were completely, I mean, I had to like, I went underneath the sink and was washing them off with like, not a magic eraser because they don't work, but with a real sponge, you know, and it took me forever to get the soap scum off. And so I did like two of them and I was like, no, I'm just going to use these plank things and see if these plank things work. So I put them in there. It took every bit of soap scum. I mean, it was like a brand new Turvis cup straight from the Amazon. I could not believe it. I was thrown out. I was like, oh my God, these plank things, they work. They really, really work. A hundred percent. Like I swear by these plank things. So if you got problems with soap scum, now I haven't tried it in the washing machine, but maybe I will. Our washing and dryer is pretty new. I mean, it's a couple years old now, but I mean, it still runs pretty new. So I don't know, but maybe I'll try it to like wash it out and stuff like that. But I'm telling you on the dishwasher, oh my God. It'll change your life. The plank will change your life. It truly will. Anyway, let me know if you have a problem with the, uh, let me know if uh, you have a problem with the set scum. Let me know if you've used the plank before. I swear by the plank. And no, it's not Planko from, uh, from The Price is Right, but don't you wish it was? Oh my God, I love that game so much. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.